welcome back to Healthy Dose at Disney. If you're new here, my name is Erica, and I just wanted to talk about, I like a little recap of 2023 and talk about um, some goals that I have set for 2024. Um, 2023 was a very interesting year. There were some really fun and great moments, and unfortunately, there were some things that were pretty traumatic um, in 2023. Um, some of the good stuff was that we started the year in Georgia. Oh, my cat wants to say hi. We started the year on a trip in Georgia and we had an amazing time. Um, that was one of like my favorite memories is starting the year um, in somewhere completely different. That was a really nice thing. It's something that I wanna try to do every few years is start the year somewhere different. And I loved that. Um, another fun thing this year was the World Cup. The Women's Soccer World Cup happened in the summer. And even though the US didn't make it too far, I had a lot of fun like waking up to watch the games um, and like rooting for different teams and seeing history be made from all the other teams that were in the World Cup. So that was really fun. I got to go to Disneyland for the first time. Um, I'm trying to think of all the positives. Um, uh, 2023 brought me a lot closer to my coworkers, or my former coworkers, Craig and Rhino, and I'm really, uh, like really, really grateful for that because now I have really great friends in those two humans. Um, I got to hang out with Denny Sunderly a lot in 2023, and I hope we continue doing that in 2024. Um, not only did I go to Disneyland, my wife and I did a staycation at Wilderness Lodge and it was a wonderful vacation. We fell in love with the resort. Um, it's like our new favorite resort. It's just so peaceful. Um, I saw my family more than I think I've seen them um, since moving to Orlando. I saw them a lot in 2023 and I really hope that stays consistent in 2024. I had a lot of good quality family time with my dad's side of the family, my mom's side of the family, my in-laws. It was a really good year for family time. Um, that's some of the positives of 2023. Um, also getting to now work for Disney again in my dream role um, has just been great. It was a great way to end 2023. Some of the more traumatic things um, of course, losing my grandfather this year was really sad. Um, it was really hard. My birthday and the holidays were really weird this year because, you know, I didn't get a call from my grandfather um, and stuff like that. And it was just, um, it was sad. I don't want to harp on that too much. Obviously, a lot of you here um, found me and found out about me because of my previous job. Um, and this year, there were some really bad things that came out about my former boss that um, were very triggering and were very traumatic. And I say triggering because um, the allegations that were being said are things that I had gone through in my life. And so it brought up a lot of triggering feelings for me to know that someone that employed me um, did those things to people and I knew um, what those people were going through and how they were feeling. Uh, look at Sebi, say hi. Um, so like that, that was just a lot. And knowing that that person also um, was not very nice to me. Um, I was never close to that person. I tried not to have any contact um, with that person, which is hard when they're your boss. But there were comments said to me about my sexuality that um, we're not okay, and um, it was just a lot. Um, it was a lot, and you know, I quickly found out my place um, when that person was still around. It just it wasn't a good it wasn't a good time. So when everything did come out, it just it just made everything really stressful and made everything that was slightly good, just feel all like bad. Um, it was a really hard time for me because I was trying to figure out how do I make a stand? You know, I didn't know any of these people, but I wanted to make sure that everyone knew that I was on like the right side of things and that I wasn't trying to support someone that was a predator or anything. 
um, or someone that was abusive. But that whole part of 2023 seemed like it was like, it felt like it lasted 10 years. It was just so much. It consumed every part of my day from like talking to my mom on the phone, obviously being with my coworkers and then coming home and talking to my wife about it. Like it just consumed every aspect of my life. And I'm just kind of really happy that that's all over. Um, that was just like a lot. And I'm sorry if I just overshared information about my life in that aspect, but it really was a lot. And um, I just felt so lost in the sauce. I really did. Um, but what I can tell you is I was so happy that I never had to work with that person uh, ever again. Um, so yeah, there's that. That was a big part of 2023. It was a very stressful part of 2023. Uh, but I think overcoming it and moving past it um, was a very like strong thing to do. Um, so I give props to myself and my coworkers for really trying to like push through, find a solution and move forward. Um, Cause it was not easy. It was a very difficult time. Um, but you know what? It's okay. Cause there were some really great things that happened in 2023. Um, you know, 2023, we made two years of being married we made a year of being homeowners. Like there were a lot of great things that happened in 2023. And I can't wait to see what 2024 is going to bring us. Um, I do have like a list of goals that I want to accomplish in 2024. Some of them are, you know, continuing to love myself and cherish uh, the body that I've been given and to create, you know, positive spaces for me and my body and for my mind. Um, and to remember that my life is my own and I'm the only person that can control my life and to continue to be in charge of what I do and what my life consists of. Um, you spend and cherish time with my wife because we both work full-time jobs and it can be hectic. Um, another one of my like professional goals is to become the best performer that I can be, but also grow into some like leadership type of roles uh, within the year. Um, so another goal I had, which isn't an original goal, I stole this from Tim Tracker because he completed everything in the Magic Kingdom. Um, and I think my goal this year is to complete everything that is in Hollywood Studios. So I have an app that tracks like rides and attractions, and I'm going to try to check everything off within the year and do the full park, maybe visit the park once a month and knock some things out, but to complete like one full park this year and like try to keep that tradition going. Another goal I have for myself is to get some more tattoos because, you know, I love tattoos. Um, and to get a frequent fear pass for Halloween Horror Nights. Um, those are just some of my goals, but I've been doing a lot of reflecting that 2023 was a year of strength and, um, pushing forward. Um, uh, it was a lot of pushing forward. It felt like, it felt like a constant motion of this. Like I was just pushing and pushing and pushing and slowly moving this wall that was in front of me to get where I want to be. I met some amazing people um, this past year, like my friend Mike, AKA Cody in the park and his beautiful wife, Ash. Oh, and kitty cuddles, so many kitty cuddles in 2023. Um, but yeah, I met amazing people in 2023 and just, it was, it was a good time. And that's why I feel like 2024 is gonna be a really good year. Um, and maybe, you know, I'm hoping that it won't feel like this the whole year. I am hoping um, that I can move a little more freely in my life with where I'm at right now. I feel like I'm just going on a tangent and rambling, but I just promise this part of the video is going to be done in just a minute. But Rhino on his New Year's live stream was talking about how he picks a word for the year um, and how he like uses that word throughout the year, um, instead of making like a resolution. And I've been thinking about my word and I think my word is progress. Like I'm always a work in progress and I want to remember that, um, I'm not perfect and I won't ever be perfect, 
but everything I do is a work in progress. Like my career, my goals, my personal life, everything is a work in progress. Um, and my favorite, my favorite attractions is Carousel of Progress. But I feel like I'm trying to grow and it's all process and I want to just be better and get better. So progress is my word. And, but my spin on this is like, what era do I want to be in? Because, you know, I'm a Swifty. Um, this year is my reputation year, 110%. Um, I've been in my reputation era for the past few months. Um, little insight. The day that we went to the studio and took everything, I blasted. Um, oh, I got to sneeze. Sorry for that little cut. I had to sneeze. Um... I blasted Look What You Made Me Do in my car on the way there, and that really pushed me into my reputation era. Uh, but I think I'm going to be in that this year, and I'm hoping that reputation does get released in 2024 so that it can match my vibe. But if you really think about it, the reputation era is filled with love songs and taking back your reputation and being your authentic self. So that is what I want this year to be. I want to make progress. I want to remember that everything's a work in progress and that I'm not perfect and no one's perfect. I want to remember that um, my reputation is something that I own. No one can take that from me. I'm in charge of my narrative. I'm in charge of my story. Um, and I want to just keep, you know, being in love and sharing and cherishing moments with my wife. Um, so I want to just be full on in my reputation era this year, but yeah, that's like my little reflection. I'm sorry if I got a little deep there for a moment, but I haven't really talked much on what happened, um, between what was it like July to now basically, because yeah, it was the end of July and like August, it was just all a mess. August, September, October, like those months were really, really rough. Um, but, and I haven't really spoke much on it other than the poetry that I put out regarding the situation because I just put my feelings best into writing. But yeah, 2023 was a year that felt like a roller coaster, but I'm gr very, very grateful for, um, the people that were riding the roller coaster with me. Um, again, shout out to Craig and Rhino for really like being like a rock for me throughout 2023 like I always they were a constant like I always knew they were there um and they they were the people that were going through exactly what I was going through at work so like we were able to like really bond together and I'm very very appreciative of them they're amazing people the whole team um is great but yeah 2024 it's gonna it's gonna be good it's gonna be good gonna go to Disneyland again going to hope to travel a little bit, do some more staycations, um, and just not take life for granted at all. And, um, again, like I said, to remember that I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. We're all at work in, in progress. So yeah, we're going to go do my hair now. Um, I know it feels like we just did my hair, but we're going to do, go do, um, what's called a gloss on my hair to just give it some more like vibrancy. It's about that time. We are gonna add more blonde, but not right now. Just doing a gloss. I'm, this was 14 minutes of me rambling. I'm so sorry, but I really wanna talk about 2023 and what I'm looking forward to in 2024. Um, please let me know what era you're gonna be in this year. I wanna know. Um, I'm very curious to know what era you're gonna be in. And if you're not a Swifty, you can make up your own era. That's fine. But let's go to my hair appointment and see how this turns out. I love you guys so much. Thank you for bearing with me on this little ramble. Okay, I'm at the salon now. And we're just doing a gloss, like I said. So this is what it looks like right now. And um, it should be a little more like vibrant and shiny when I leave here. Every time I leave this salon, I just look like slightly different, not like a lot different but soon we will be adding more blonde so that'll look a little different but not yet we're going to talk about it today but we're just doing a little a little gloss i know i look a little wild but there's the process um they gave me a diet coke but i want to say that they've played taylor swift twice now what was i trying to say twice twice now since i've been here and it's like they know 
I love, I love it. They're playing her. It makes this experience even better. Um, but yeah, this is where we're at. I just got out of the salon. The lighting obviously isn't that good in my car, but you can see the red. Uh, we did a nice gloss. We did a, a copper red gloss and it actually looks really good. I love it. Um, we did talk about adding more blonde and we are going to do that before February and we like mapped it out. I just need to make my appointment. Um, I'll probably do it for like the end of January, but actually the lighting in here kind of pops off on my hair. Like, look at that. That looks really good. Um, but thank you for, um, one, hearing my like tangent earlier about 2023 and 2024 and thank you for coming along with me to get my hair done even though like I didn't say too much or do too much but it was a nice little refresh a great way to start 2024 um but yeah thank you for hanging out with me I appreciate you guys I love you guys I hope you guys had a good holiday season a good new year's um but thank you for watching and if you did like this and you feel like you want to subscribe or like or leave a comment please do but with that being said, um, I'll see you next time.